Following the BIDA satellite, China has invested another 20 billion to build the Hongyang constellation. What is the Hongyang constellation? What is the difference between it and BIDA? Why do I think it can defeat Musk Starlink? Well, do you know, conflicts in space occur more easily than we think. Recently, Musk's action has caused a stir and led to severe criticism from Chinese users on Chinese social media. Some Chinese netizens said that the Starlink satellites are just a pile of space junk, while others described them as space war weapons of the United States. Some of them even called for a boycott of Tesla. It's not just Chinese netizens who are angry with the Starlink project. In fact, these drunken lunatics rampaging in space have plagued the world for a long time. Data shows that Starlink has involved about 1,600 similar incidents, accounting for half of all accidental approach incidents of spacecraft. Behind these dangers, a more serious problem is now exposed as more and more Starlink launches are almost unconstrained, low Earth orbits will be occupied by more Starlink satellites, and the similar, rambling, behaviors will absolutely increase accordingly. Space belongs to all human beings, not exclusive territory for Musk to make money. How should we solve this problem? China is about to build a satellite system that is even more powerful than Starlink project. It is the Hongyang constellation. This constellation will consist of hundreds of small communication satellites, which can provide mobile internet data connectivity for the world. So, is Hongyang constellation really more powerful than the Starlink project? Can it break Musk's space hegemony? How long will it take to complete this project? What can it bring to China? Hi. Welcome to Tech Teller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's move on to today's topic. The best way for China to deal with the US training plan is to also establish its own global satellite communication network, so China proposed the Hongyang Constellation Plan. Similar to the US Starlink, the Hongyang Constellation is also a global satellite communication network. It consists of hundreds of satellites. It is composed of satellites in low Earth orbit. It can provide mobile internet connections for users anywhere in the world, only requiring users to have a special satellite signal receiving device. So far, China successfully launched the first batch of test satellites of the Hongyang constellation, and they are currently operating in space. What attracts the attention of Western countries is that China's Hongyang constellation can not only provide mobile internet connections, but also has a special advantage, that is, it can provide 6G communication signal coverage directly from space to the ground in the future. Although the US Starlink can also do this, but its ground users must be required to carry an additional satellite receiving device. This was also required in the early days of China's Hongyang constellation. However, after China successfully develops 6G communication technology in the future, it will be possible to manufacture 6G communication base stations that can be installed on satellites. So, the Hongyang satellite can transmit 6G signals to the surface from space. This will make the Hongyang constellation far stronger than the American Starlink system. In other words, once the Hongyang constellation has such capabilities, China will build a satellite communication system that can provide ground users with mobile internet connections anytime, anywhere, far beyond Starlink in the United States. As we all know, China's BIDA satellite navigation system has become the second largest navigation system in the world after the US GPS. After China completed the BIDA satellite navigation system network, the era of the US GPS monopoly on the global satellite navigation market came to an end. China has also become the only one in the world that can compete with the United States in aerospace. Therefore, American politicians have been exaggerating the space threat theory. It is not difficult to see that with the experience of building the BIDA satellite navigation system, China not only accelerated the progress bar when networking the Hongyang constellation, but also became more skilled. The reason why the Hongyang constellation has attracted much attention is because if it can be completed on time, it will be the most complete satellite network system at present. So, compared with BIDA, what breakthroughs does Hongyang constellation have? It can be roughly divided into two parts. 
Of course, the most eye-catching feature of the Hongyang system is its powerful satellite data exchange function. The Hongyang constellation can realize two-way communication on a global scale. It can not only transmit data in real time throughout the day, but also achieve full coverage of oceans and poles, and conduct real-time monitoring and tracking of aircraft carriers around the world. It is no exaggeration to say that this is very meaningful, after all, it means that the Hongyang constellation has a very high compatibility, but is completely independent of the BIDA navigation system. Everyone knows that there have been rumors that the United States has deciphered the BIDA satellite navigation system. Although the authenticity of this matter is unknown, it also reflects that the United States has certain ideas about BIDA satellites. If the United States wants to interfere with the BIDA system one day, the Hongyang constellation can temporarily top the position of BIDA to ensure that the navigation and positioning on the ground will not be affected. Besides, the Hongyang constellation is the top priority for China to build a satellite internet. In fact, this is based on the 6G field. The reason for this is that the United States failed to gain an absolute advantage in the 5G field, so it proposed the Starlink to try to surpass 6G research and development. Obviously, the United States uses the asymmetric form of satellite internet to compete in the 6G field, which is extremely targeted. Judging from the current trend of Sino-US relations, if the United States takes the lead in developing 6G, then China's situation in the field of communications would be worse. Of course, this is not fabricated out of thin air, because the US Starlink plan needs to be supported by 12,000 satellites, and may even reach 42,000 satellites in the later stage, although the range that can be used to launch satellites and form Starlink is quite large, with such a large number, it will inevitably occupy a lot of satellite frequencies and low Earth orbits. After the completion of the US Starlink plan, it is very likely that other countries will not have low Earth orbits for satellite launches. Therefore, instead of launching satellites after being affected by the Starlink plan, it is better to be the first to launch satellites to occupy low Earth orbit in advance, just to break the enclosure action initiated by the United States with satellites. Maybe someone has this question, the Starlink project has tens of thousands of satellites, and the Hongyang constellation has only 300 satellites. Why can Hongyang constellation win this battle? Once the US side completes the Starlink project, will it not have any advantages? In fact, this is not the case, because a large number of satellites does not mean powerful performance. On the contrary, because of the large number of satellites, there will be many follow-up problems, such as the big problem of follow-up maintenance. As for the Hongyang constellation, although there are only 300, it is less and more refined than the Starlink plan, and its construction cost and maintenance cost are also within the controllable range. Of course, judging from the current situation, even if the Starlink project has been going on, there are already many satellites launched into space, but there is still a long distance from 12,000 satellites, and the Hongyang constellation is also progressing smoothly, so the Hongyang constellation may really be completed before the Starlink project. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas. Please keep following our channel and like our videos. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.